Hello, Laura Leader here with Law Office Solution. So one recently asked me if you can have text repeat itself within an Excel workbook. And it is so simple to do. I want to make a really quick video just to show you. So I have a little bit of text here and I have two different worksheets in this workbook. If you want text to that is in one cell to appear somewhere else, all you have to do is go to the cell where you want it to appear, click it, then on your keyboard, press the equal sign. You can see it put equal in there. Now with the mouse, you just go click the cell that has the information you want to have repeat. And you can see it's putting a little formula in where it's telling this cell is going to equal whatever is in A2. Now I just press enter on my keyboard and there it is. And if this information gets changed, it will change in the other cell. You can also go across worksheets. So I'm in this workbook um, on sheet one. I can grab, um, well, let's, let's go here to sheet two and I've got names. So I'm gonna put my, let me stretch this a little bit. I'm gonna put my selection. I'm clicking where I want the name to appear. Type the equal sign. Now, I just ignore what I'm, uh, the keyboard. I'm not touching anything on the keyboard. I just take my mouse, I'm gonna click sheet one and go here to get, let's get this person's, well, well, we'll do Bob Smith again. We'll get this person's name, press enter, and you can see it filled it in. Now, if I wanna do his total here, equal sign, go where I want and I'll, I could just grab his total and press enter, but if, just to show you that you could do some math with it, I could also take his salary. I just clicked it. Now on the keyboard, I'm gonna type the plus sign because I wanna add to his salary. And so you can see up here, it's filling the formula in. Now what I wanna to add to it, his bonus, click that. Now if I press enter, takes me back to where I was and it gives me the total amount. Now I'm gonna move these um, over here. I'm gonna cut this, Control X on the keyboard, click here and I'll just press Enter to paste it. And then this, um, if I cut and paste this, it's not going to work quite right. So I'll just redo it. I don't want to get into why, but um, click here. I'll say equals, click sheet one. And this time I'll just grab the actual total instead of doing the math since it's already been done here. Press enter. Now what I want to show you is that it uses a formula equals the sheet name followed by an exclamation point followed by the cell address. That's how it makes it appear. You can copy that formula down. And since this is sheet one, A2, if I copy it down, it'll be A3, A4, A5, A6. So to do that, I can select this cell that has uh, the data in it, or the formula, I should say. And notice a little solid square. I'm just gonna grab that and drag down and it fills in. And if I single click these cells, you can see the formula changing uh, with each cell that it goes down. That's actually why I couldn't just cut and paste that other formula because it would have shifted the cell addresses. So I guess I did get into it. I can do the same for this one now. And it's repeating them. And then if I go back to sheet one and make any change to any of this, I made these salaries a long time ago. We'll give her a lot more. It's always easy to be generous with someone else's money. Okay, so I changed her salary, which changed her total. And now if I go back to sheet two, you can see change the name and change this. If I wanted to repeat the word name to the left of each of these, same thing, drag it down it will, since it's not a formula, it just copies, essentially copies it. And there you go.